Hi, hello everyone. In this video, we are going to give solution to, we are going to provide a solution to one of our uh, subscriber. He is uh, uh, spending a lot of uh, hours in manipulating the raw data. And let's see what his problem is and how we are providing, how we are going to give solution to his uh, problem. So this is a query I received from that subscriber. Hi, I'm Anandas. I am working in a soft drink manufacturing company where we will get the soft drink information in the raw data format shown in tab 1 and we want to change that to tab 2 format for our tracking purpose. Till now we are doing it manually and we are spending 7 to 8 hours to manipulate the data which contain an average of 1500 rows. I would be so glad if you help us to automate this work and it would save huge amount of manual effort for us. Looking forward for your reply. So you also send two more attachment with this one. One is an example macro. So if you see this, uh, this contain a drink ID and the recipe data goes to column B and he wanted this as output as shown in the drink post macro. So he want to split those two rows that is uh, two columns into three columns here. Also if you see that uh, he want to split the cells in uh, column B based on the number of rows present. For example, if you take this cell B2, it contains three rows and he want this to be split it into three different cells in column B. Also, if you see this one, he don't want that volume to be shown in the column B. Rather than that, he want that volume to go to the column C uh, and it contains header volume. So this is one attachment and also he spent a different attachment. I think this is a purely a raw data which uh, we can use it after we are done with the macro and let's see how this work. So we will start with a new excel sheet. So the first one is drink ID and second one is a recipe data. So first we want to determine the number of rows present in the column A of sheet 1. So we will start a subroutine called as flight by cells or something and here let's assign an object to the sheet 1 and 2 so here i have assigned a two object one for sheet 1 another one for sheet 2 this will be helpful uh, later and now i just want to determine the number of rows present in the column A. So if I determine the number of rows then I can easily split this into a number of uh, cells I want. So in order to determine the number of uh, rows uh, let's say L row 1. In order to determine the number of rows you have to use this one. Please determine the number of rows present in the sheet 1 and store this to this variable L row 1. And one more thing is we need to split this data into a different cell. In order to split this into a different cell, we need to use a function called split in Excel VBA. If you are not sure how this function works, let me explain this. So this is a function we are going to use to split this into a different cell and uh, this start with split and it has some four parameters uh, but we are going to use uh, the first two expression and delimiter. In the expression we are going to pass this, this cell value and in the delimiter 
we are going to provide a, a new line which which is character 10 so this one so this character turn represent a new line so in a single cell wherever it find a new line it split it into uh, different strings and this split function uh, return the output in array format so here they have given an example as well click on the net if uh, here uh, no delimiter was given so it split based on the number of spaces but here the some delimiter was given uh, dot was given so it split down the string based on the number of dots present in the cell. So this is one function we are going to use. So first we determine the number of rows present in the sheet one. Next is we are going to use a two for loop here. One for loop loop from row two till the end of uh, the uh, column A. So it uh, for example if we start a for loop from 2 to 5 uh, instead of giving 5 because we are not sure uh, how uh, uh, in real uh, data in real data we are not sure how much uh, rows it contain so that is why we have used this L row 1 to determine the last row of column A and this variable will take care of uh, number of rows so first for loop we have to loop from 2 to 5 and the second for loop we have to loop this and split it into a different cell and place it in the sheet one so first for loop is uh, very easy and the second for loop is uh, going to do a lot of work in that let's see how we are going to do that so first for loop uh, let's say j is equal to 2 to l row 1 and in this for loop i just want to split those uh, text in the column B. So let me determine a variable called split valves. So we are going to use the function split here and the first parameter will be j comma 2. So sh one dot cells j comma two here j means uh, uh, if you take about the first iteration it will pass two here two comma two so this two comma two b two b two will first pass it here and we want to split by a character ten which means a new line wherever it finds a new line it split or break it into a uh, different substring. And this split valves return an array as I already told us. It's a time to start a second for loop. And in the second for loop, uh, just to make it clear, this for first for loop, uh, loop for uh, starting from sheet 2, uh, starting from B2 up to the last row in the column B. And uh, this inner for loop, which we are going to write, uh, break down this uh, particular cells into different lines. Um, up to this last row of column B and put it over uh, the column B in sheet 2. This is what we are going to do. In order to do that, uh, we are going to use uh, make use of this L bound and U bound uh, uh, function of arrays. Uh, so, for example, for i is equal to let's say i is equal to L bound of split valves to u bound so this l bound to u bound store the text from row 1 to last row of particular cell in the iteration for example when j becomes 2 the l bound value store this and u bound value store this and when we look through that we can also get this one in the middle as well so that is what uh, we did and we want this l bound and u bound to paste it on the sheet 2 so we need to determine the last row of sheet 2 we need to determine both column a and column b last row so i will define a variable L row 2 and L row 3. So L row 2 
So using L dot two, we will determine the value of column B in sheet two. We will define an another variable called L row three. And we want to identify the last row in the column A. So uh, for each iteration of this inner for loop, uh, this both get refreshed and it will return the uh, recent number of uh, uh, recent number of last rows in column A and B uh, during iteration. Once we determine that, uh, we will uh, uh, going to split that combined text in each cells in the sheet two. So in order to do that, let's say sh two dot cells l row three. This one should be l row three. L row three plus one. Comma one. So this sheet two in sheet two L row three L row three plus one, which means um, it identify the next row in column A of sheet two, and it uh, populate the value uh, which is uh, stored in the column a of sheet 1 so drink id it will populate that and in the column b we want to populate column b we have to change the column from 1 to 2 and here we don't want to populate the drink id but we want to populate the text which gets splitted split values of i so l bound uh, it will populate the first text second text and third text throughout the line so that's it we are done and uh, now we'll close this for loop inner for loop and outer for loop let's execute and see how it works yeah so if you see that uh, this two repeated for three times according to the number of rows it gets splitted and uh, this cell splitted into three different uh, rows uh, three different cells uh, to be exact and this contain four lines so it's splitted into four different cell and this also contain four line so it also get uh, splitted into four different cells so this is what we want but uh, we just want this volume to go to the column C there is a one more thing that's pending <coughs> so we will see uh, how to do that so what I'm going to do is uh, uh, we will make use of the recurrent playback macro to split this column by as delimiter called colon so I'm going to record this uh, say macro name as uh, macro one. Let it be. And I have to. I'm. I'm selected this column B. I'm just going to the data tab. In the data tab. You will find an option called text to column. Choose the type as a delimited. Next and instead of delimiter, choose other option. And here, enter colon and click on next use it as a text so that uh, this uh, 1 by 4 will not turn into 0.25 or something and click on this finish so now it gets splitted by volume and uh, this drink id now we want to cut this and paste it here so now everything is set the volume goes to the left side uh, sorry this uh, drink 
rate details um, drink all the soft drink details go to the left side and the volume turn into right side so let's stop the macro and see how it came it's get stored in the module 2 just copy that macro and put it after this here we are uh, uh, selecting column b to be in sheet 2 so we have to refer sheet 2 here and the selection destination range if we want to start from b2 that we need to change and b is to be that select selection dot cut sheets that's it so now we will clear it out and run the macro and see how it's working select method of range class failed which means uh, uh, this sheet 2 is not an active sheet so we need to make this sheet 2 as active sheet let's execute this and see how it works but before that this destination should point range b1 now we'll execute and see how it works yeah this is populated correctly the drunk id goes to column b recipe data goes to column b and volume goes to column c and here one thing is missing the header is missing so we'll see how to add that we'll refer the original data this is a raw data sheet and the original data is having drink id at a1 so we will we will give the same and a recipe data in the b1 and finally at c1 we want volume so now everything is set and executed once again and see how it works yeah it's working good and before running if you see i have added one more line sh2.cells dot clear which means uh, it will clear out all the cells uh, before executing all these uh, split functions and uh, other related stuff so at the very beginning it clear out all the values present in the sheet 2 and repeat the same so every time when you're running this get cleared and the fresh data gets populated let's check with his raw data and see how it works this contains some 200 rows and we will paste it on macro and see whether it can able to split this or not of course it can but let's check it out yeah so this is uh, correctly splitting the drink id recipe data and volume so hope uh, this will helpful for you and if you have any suggestion or thoughts please let me know via comments thank you for watching this video please subscribe